Hello there everyone and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. I'm here by myself right now. Schnicky is hopefully going to be able to join me later, but I'm not sure at this point. He might have been tied up with stuff. So, I've been sort of struggling with what to do today, and I've decided that we need to make this place look nicer. Long overdue, needs to happen. So we're going to do some of the simple and obvious things and some bigger things as well. And that is not actually what I thought it was. These colored stone bricks are not... We need regular stone bricks. That's what we need as our target. There we go. That's more like it. Let's see how different they are from one another. Almost no difference at all. In fact, I would say... Functionally speaking, they look almost identical. So what I would like to do today is go around, clean up some of the most egregious areas, like, you know, the Thomcraft area, because, well, Stonebrick's a lot nicer. And we need a heck of a lot of it to make this happen, don't we? So it's a good thing I've got every system busily making it. There we are. There's a bit. Stack. Alright. I wonder if something's gone wrong here. I've been trying, trying to keep the uh, system here from being completely overfilled. But I'm never quite sure if I succeeded at that. See, that'll definitely be in the core system, so will that. Because I have two other furnaces that were also smelting this stuff. And I just need to go find out what they were where they wound up on the smooth stone production here. I guess the uh Oh. How interesting. It actually smelted it into stone brick. That's interesting. That's very interesting indeed. Awesome. So my primary target is, of course, the upstairs area, because, well... It's the area that's the, sort of the core of the whole place. Whoops! Well, I guess some of that's going to be gray replacement. Starting to look much better already. Gotta love having the right tools for the job, too. Excellent, okay. And we're out of it again, aren't we? We've got lots of, uh. Lots of cobble, though. Wow. Okay, and that's that full. And that's still producing stone brick, so that's okay. Let's try and finish up the Thomcraft area. Oh, okay, I need to... Do I have some of that border stone still? There it is. Oops. There we are. Going, one there, boom, boom. And boom. There we go. Much better. Okay. Well twenty four more of these. Ah, so close. So close. Okay, well, that's a start. It's gonna... I obviously need to spend a lot more time producing uh, this material to really have an effective uh, cleanup, which is too bad. Too bad indeed. Let's see, what else can we do today? 
Um, yeah, I think I'll do the, uh, I made myself a couple stacks of smooth sandstone. I was thinking about redoing some of the walls in that. Just for something different. Sure, why not? That looks okay. That cap's a little annoying, but what you gonna do, right? All right. Um, actually, I would really like to do this with a fence of some sort. I can't even walk over it because I'm not using the. Uh, get rid of some of the paranoia fencing here. Which is really all that is. That's just insurance against me uh, falling to my death on a regular basis here. Okay, because can't be walked over, so we're okay on that front. In fact, if we do that. There, could even do that. Cool. Okay, so in terms of systems or quests, I was looking at the Orberry quest, Orchid quest, but honestly the Britannia stuff's pretty extensive to make, I have to say. So I've decided against it for now. Thongcraft, I've kind of hit a wall again on the uh, due to nodes. Well, not nodes, but aspects. Really, the only way to get air aspects at this point will be to probably grind out a whole bunch of uh, research on the uh, deconstruction table there, which is a long and tiring process. We could do a couple crossbreeds today. Why don't we do that? So, because we actually have quests to make some of these seeds now that I think about it, and Sky Farm. What was our next target? Is it Sky Farm? Agricarnation. All right. So, oh, it's a Petal Apothecary thing. Never mind. That's not the one I was looking for. Upgrading seeds. Um, yeah, those are complete irrigation. First, oh, right, the bedrock problem. Never mind. Multi-frame, we're not going to worry about. Incubated egg, how interesting. Hmm. Inf animal infusions. Okie dokie then. Hmm, maybe there wasn't another uh, step for that. Maybe just misremembering. Oh yeah, and this is for Bob... B related. Yeah, I see there's tons of quests in here. It's just uh, a lot of them I've, got, I've hit the wall on actually researching them. And the same problem exists with the applied energistics. Uh, all this essential storage stuff, I've hit the wall on that too because I can't research it. So until I can get the aspects, I'm kind of stuck. Auto magic. Well, we were looking at that last episode, if I recall correctly. I'm trying to remember where we got with that. Auto... which one was that? The Auto Disenchanter? Yeah, Auto Disenchanter, Auto Brewer. Let's see. Auto Brewer. We have almost... we have nothing related to that thing yet. Auto. All right, there we are. Auto brewer. Frame. All right. One tin gear. Actually, let's do two tin gears just for my sanity. One, two of those. Actually, I'm not going to need two of those. Do need two of these though. Alright. A couple redstone torches. Alright. 
Now, I saw some of that uh, pipe around here somewhere. Where did I see that? Some of those uh, conduits. Plastic pipe. Oh, well, that's easy. Do we not have any plastic? I guess we don't. Do have that, though. Excellent. All right. Next, we need the brewing stand. We need a blaze rod for that. We do not have a blaze at this time. So the only way to get a blaze rod... We don't have a blaze lamp. We don't have smoldering bees. We don't have... So, yeah, so the only way to get it will be to kill a blaze, and the only way to kill a blaze is from the angry doll. Now, if I use the angry doll, I don't want to actually kill the thing. I want to... Well, hold on, what's the recipe for an angry doll? Inexpensive. Stuff, oh, except for the nether wood, I have lots of it. Let's see. I might be able to... Let's see. So we're just going to look up the recipe for the precious doll. Do not have that, but that's stuff we can get easily. Porcelain is easy. So we could make another one easily enough. So how do we use these? I guess it's the question. First of all, get the epic sword of us. Interesting. Well, let's go to the mob hunter. Actually, we'll learn to skyblock, because uh, combine an angry dot with a stone barrel of lava to get a blaze of your very own. Be careful, they like burning things. Okay, so a stone barrel. No, okay. Hold on, I wonder how we... Did we manage to get any... We're up to 14 Yellorium dust anyway, so that's good. Alright, we'll take this. Get ourselves a bucket of lava. Kind of overloaded on random stuff right now, aren't I? Hmm. I was sort of all over the map in my planning tonight, so that's uh, understandable, I suppose. There we go. All right. Here goes the crazy. Now we're going to do this. I got my crossbow, and I've got a nice solid sword. Between those two things, we should be good. Whoops. Missed. Oh, maybe I just have to, uh... Come on. You know you want to blaze. Yeah, here we go. It's summoning. It's a summoning a uh, bit of a round of this is a terrible idea. Uh, maybe I should have done this in the uh, nether in retrospect. All right, brace yourself. Blazes are coming. Ooh, I'm a little nervous now. A little nervous. This might have been a terrible idea, you know, guys. Terrible ideas. Thy name is Blaze Summoning in the Overworld. Where'd he go? Shoot, where'd he go? Did I... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. He's... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Dang, knockback. Where are you? 
please tell me the item landed somewhere useful. Didn't make it. Okay, so I should have done that in the nether after all, because apparently this thing hits like a bloody rocket. Okay, I'm hurt right now. This is what happens when you don't account for the uh, uh, knockback effects on your weapons. <laughs> you wind up knocking your hard-earned uh, critter into orbit and dropping the resources into the void. The good news is it didn't light anything other than me on fire, but you know, small favors, right? Oh, hello, there's actually pigmen this time. That's cool. All right, round two. Lava, doll. If this was better than wolves, I'd be a lot more scared. Pigmen are, I can probably avoid them. Although they do drop gold, don't they? Hmm. Interesting. Go, go, go. Hmm. It's a bit more uh, activity here this time. What do we have out here? Uh, looks like just more pigmen. Yeah, just more pigs. Nothing of grand importance. Blaze Rod, on the other hand. That's of grand importance. Well, mediocre importance, all right. Yeah, that's more like it. One blaze rod for all that. Now the porcelain is made from... Uh... Oh, hold on, what's this? There's another redstone up there. Not that we need it, because... That's not the way this game works, but all right. So we needed that thing. Oh, got a wrath shard as well, which is a super special farmcraft thing for, um, yeah. Okay, so auto dash brewer. Cryer's brewing stand, which we don't have yet. Boom, boom. What happened to my cube? What did I do with the cube? Did I... I dumped it off, didn't I? No. Did I, ne I never actually made the... Uh, huh. I never made the cube. Oops. Alright, let's try that again. Oh. Hello, those are things that are in my inventory, aren't they? That's why it's acting a little funny. go and then we go boom auto brewer and auto disenchanter we don't have nether brick which is not too hard to make we need books we ran out of leather okay that's a thing so let's go with a we need a safari net reusable because I used up my last one on on that, uh... Should have used it on the blaze, is what I should have done. There we go. A blaze in a bottle would have been far more useful than uh, what I've done here, so... Book. Alright, now we need to make, um... Yeah, so we need to make nether brick which I believe is made from, okay, nether bricks, which is smelted nether rack. So we need one, two, three, four. Okay. Put four of them in there. Oh, we need fuel. This thing actually needs fuel for once. Well, since we have no sun, I'll just throw in a little coal.
Nice. All right, let's get rid of a little bit more of this. We'll get some of this stuff back in the system. So we're getting a little overloaded right now. Four nether brick. Or nether, yeah, four nether bricks makes one nether brick. Ah, oh, the naming, the naming. Auto disenchanter, boom. All right, quest book, tell me what the magic result is here today. In the wonderful assembly line quest line, <laughs> a blaze rod. Well, I guess that's an easy, gonna let us make. All right, so we're test down to Tesseract and whatever this, oh, that's the, oh, you know what that is? That's the mega mining thing. That's what that is. All right, well, the blaze rod's a nice thing to have. We really do need to make one of those uh, disk drives, don't we? Or figure out how to clear out our system, but... Yeah, things are getting a little out of hand in the storage realm, aren't they? Okay. Um, I guess we could take a few minutes and make one more uh, batch of that porcelain. Which is made from clay and bone meal. is actually something we don't have very much of. Alright, so we need dust. We need dust. Good, we have dust. We need water. And we need to quickly pop these and start smelting them. Oh no, we need to combine them with porcelain clay. Just in the assumption. Okay. Precious doll. And then precious doll plus. All of this equals angry doll. Angry doll plus... This time we're putting it in a, in a box, so... We're going to not have to worry about knockback issues here. In fact, we'll do it down here this time, just for kicks. Okay. This will be a lot safer. I might still get burned, but... It still won't be as bad. So apparently we can... There's other two other kinds of dolls we can summon. Or, see, we've got Thalmic Doll, uh, Freezing Doll, Angry Doll, and Creepy Doll. So each one's going to summon something different. So we can actually probably figure out... Hmm. It's X Asterisk, and the X Asterisk uh, crafting rules don't show up very well. Which is a little annoying, but such is life. Such is life. Okay. Uh, there we go. One Pokeball filled with Blaze. Alright, there we go. Safe and sound. Alrighty. Well, that's a good spot to stop for today, guys. Finished quest. Got a blaze in a bottle. You know, useful stuff. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.